Hello everyone and welcome back to the ranch of Rivershine. I was actually meant to be filming something else today, but honestly, I haven't had the greatest day. And right now I really wish I could go out and ride along um, some trails with my horse, but I can't do that right now. But I can in this world. So I decided we're gonna jump back into the ranch of Rivershine and spend some time out in the beautiful wilderness with a horse. And we have mail. Okay. <laughs> Rivers store. What? What's floating down? Oh, it's leaves. <laughs> I hope you had a good night's rest because we have a busy day ahead. Why don't you come by for a chat and I'll get you set up with a new training course to practice with your horse. You have your first competition to get ready for. River. Oh, and another one. Map exploration. Hey there, Misty. I thought I you might be getting a bit turned around as you find your way around town. Why don't you ride into town with your new pony and check your map to see where I am? I bet you can find me. Probably. Jay. Okay. So we got a couple of quests. I'm just gonna hide these. Um. Oops. No, here we go. There we go. So we can just hide those. Ah, <sighs> new morning on the ranch. Honestly, this game is just so relaxing and it makes me happy being able to walk around in the sunshine, especially since it's currently winter and the weather has been miserable. There isn't a lot of sunshine, so being able to walk around in a beautiful place like this really helps lift my spirits. And of course, having apples to collect for obsidian helps too. <laughs> Let's go see him. I can already see him through the window. Good morning, Obsidian. Oh, he made to me! <laughs> I love that so much. Alright. Uh, let's... Oh, yes, I know, I know. You want food. Let's clean up your poopies first, Obsidian. Don't want you eating in dirty surroundings. Here we go. Have we got any trust yet? 1% trust. <laughs> we'll get there. Put some nice straw down for you. And we'll give you some food. Let's give you some Timothy hay. And the only grain we have is oats, which we don't really need. Um, let's give him a brush. Oh, you're filthy. Been rolling around, have you? Let's clean you up. There we go. Okay, it's 100%. Okay, time to head on out. We are needed in town. All right. Oh, and I need to free my camera. Ah, <sighs> here we go. Oh, this, it's just so, oh, there's something over here. <laughs> it's just so relaxing to just, oops, why is there no space? To just be here on horseback, hanging out. Let's get a carrot. It's interesting how there's just leaves falling down everywhere. And I'm just gonna keep him in a trot for now because I don't want him to be developing um, too much of his speed skill. Um, actually, how are his skills doing after yesterday? Flexibility is now 11, okay, good. Because I wanted at least 10. Speed is 17. We'll just trot trot for a little bit, get him warmed up. Okay, let's go. Oh, we need to look on the map to see where Jay is. It's George, Madeline. Is he down by his house? Yep, oh wow, fancy that. Bet you can't find me. He's at his house. <laughs> Didn't really make it difficult for us, okay. Oh, and I see something else. Is this a carrot? There's a carrot for us to pick up. I will collect all the treats for obsidian. Oh, and we got carrot seeds. Oh, we can go plant those. Yes, we're definitely going to go plant the carrot seeds. All right. You know, I'll... Oh, wait, there's more stuff here. Another carrot. Definitely need to plant carrot seeds because, like, we need treats. Oh, I wonder if we'll ever get any... You know, do we have any apple seeds? No, we don't. Um, 
Oh wait, that just shows the farm. Okay, we, nah, we only have carrot seeds. But I'll have to remember to go back and plant those later. Okay. Oh, we improved our flexibility point a little bit. Okay, you stay here, Obsidian. Feel free to graze. Oh, and the door's open. Oh, hi, Jay. Hello, I remember you from the demo. Oh my gosh, look at the cake he has. I want the cake. Okay, let's talk. Howdy, long time no see. He has a quest. Huh, looks like you found your way around town. I wasn't sure you'd make it here, to be honest. I'm just messing with you. I'm glad you figured out where I was on the map. You used the map, right? <laughs> it's so useful, a park ranger's best tool. Now you can use the map simply to look around, see what buildings and villages are in the area. But there's more. You can also use a guide to find your way around. Oh? Simply select a target on your map like a store or the entrance to a new trail. And then click on the guide. It will point you in the right direction while you're riding. Oh, that's really useful. If you're too far from the entrance of the trail, you can also teleport back there with your horse. Oh! Saves you running back to the entrance, especially if you're getting tired. Don't worry too much though, I'm sure you'll get used to the town's layout soon, and you'll be able to walk around with your eyes closed. Well, as long as your horse's eyes are open. <laughs> okay, um, what do you have in your shop? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> um, quick chat? It's always good to take time to visit the other villagers you meet on the trails. They might have some interesting stories to tell, and they're a real friendly bunch. Well, most of them anyway. Okay, well we can only chat once a day. Catch you around, Misty. Okay. That's one quest down. I don't think we earned any money from that, unfortunately. All right, let's go, Obsidian. Ooh, the Lupine Meadow. I'm so keen to get out, uh, back out onto the trails again. It's so relaxing. I really love going out on the trails and just foraging for, um, like, different grain and treats and things. I just find it really relaxing. Okay, so next we need, oh yeah, we need to meet River. Oh, actually, while we're here, I think I'm going to go sell some things in the general store. <laughs> oh, settle down, chicken. I'm not here for you. Oh, look how pretty the flowers are. Hi, George. I'd like to sell some things, please, but I guess we can chat too. Since you spend so much time with your horses, I'm sure their value at the auction house will increase as you train them. If I could ride horses like you do, I'd probably take up the trade of training and selling horses myself. Of course, I know how special the bond you build with your horses is. But if there's ever a time to sell one of your horses, uh, one of your horses in the auction house, don't worry about it too much. Madeline only welcomes bidders she knows well at the auction, so your horses will always go to a good home. That's so nice to hear. Um, no quests. Doesn't seem to be the correct time for that yet. What does he have at his shop? A soft brush. Fluffy brush that will increase your bond with your horse but clean it slowly. Strong brush that will clean it quickly. I want the soft brush so we can improve um, trust. And oh, black western bridle and black western saddle. Yet yeah, there is one. Oh, we can't really afford the saddle yet. We can afford the bridle. You know what? We'll come back for that. Um, but I do want to get some black tack for obsidian. And, oh wow, we have ten carrots? Let's sell the, um, orchard grass, because I don't need that. And I'm not sure if I can use the manure. Like, I thought maybe I could use it for fertilizer, but I think I'll keep that for now. Um, and I'll see if I can use it for fertilizer back at my ranch. Alright. Oh, what's up, obsidian? You Okay. Alright. Oh, look at the little baby chickens! Oh, they're so cute! What's this? Oh, it's like a little... Is this a stable area? Oh, it is! It's like a little stable you can put your horse in while you're in town. That's so cute! How did I never notice that before? Oh, we need to go this way to river. Let's come through here. Okay, sometimes there's like some sort of crop... Oh, wait! There's no crops, but there's a treat! Another carrot. Maybe I should have sold some. I have a lot of carrots. The carrots are good as treats, but they're not as good as the apples. 
So even though it's cool that I have carrot seeds, I really like an apple seed. Because I think I can grow tree. Oh dear, can I grow trees? I think I can grow, grow trees, right? I'm not sure. Um, is River in here? I maybe should have checked the map. Is she actually home? Let's see. Oh, start guide. So if I... Whoops. If I... Hmm. Oh, I see. So if I click on one of these points here, then I can start the guide. I see. I get it. Oh, and I can also do it to guide me towards um, NPCs. That's helpful. Okay, River. Hi. Oh my gosh. The houses are so cozy. Hi, River. Let's chat first. One thing to keep in mind is that horses can get tired out pretty easily. So if you're planning to, on entering a competition, it's always best to make sure your horse has as much energy as possible. Trust me, it'll definitely improve your chances. If your horse is feeling a little drained after a while, no worries. You can always switch to a different horse for the day and give your competition horse a chance to rest. They deserve it. I hope Obsidian's training is going well. <laughs> Quest. Ah, oh, Misty, I hope you're ready for another training session today. Sure. Before we get started, why don't you take a look at what I have in store? I prepared a few different courses for you, from beginner to expert. Each course also has obstacles of different styles with unique layouts, so it should be should keep it interesting while you're training. For today, the beginner flower fences should be a good start. Okay. Um, here we go. Oh, she wants me to get the beginner flower fences, but will it matter if I get the beginner? Barrel fences, because they look... No, we'll get the flower fences, because I'm not sure if... Oh, intermediate Cavaletti. We'll get the flower fences, because that's what we're supposed to get, I'm pretty sure. Yay, thank you for your purchase. Ah, Misty, I'm glad you picked up the flower fences. Before you run out of here, I thought I'd give you a few tips about Obsidian's training. As you might have noticed, you will naturally train your horse as you ride around town or jump in the arena. You can see their energy, next to their energy, which skill they are actively training. For example, galloping will train their endurance while cantering improves their speed. Flexibility is practiced by turning sharply and jumping, while well, it's pretty self-explanatory. Keep in mind you can't train a horse indefinitely. It will be limited both daily based on the horse's energy and through their whole life depending on their potential. As your horse practices different activities throughout the day, such as training and competing, their energy will go down. This will also impact how long they can gallop, and if your horse completely runs out of energy, they won't be able to go faster than a canter. Luckily, energy is restored daily, as long as your horse is healthy. Your horse will also have more energy if they sleep in the stables, so keep that in mind before turning them out in the pasture. Potential, on the other hand, can't be restored as easily. Your horse will naturally lose potential as they age, and will lose a potential point for every skill point they gain. In other words, if you want to maximize a horse's speed skill, you might want to limit their endurance training to put as much of their potential as possible into their speed. For now, let's focus on improving your horse's jump skill. Simply walk into the arena with Obsidian and select a beginner course you'd like to practice on. You should have a few courses to choose from now. Come and see me again once you've trained for a bit and I'll let Madeline know about your progress. With any luck, she'll decide to open the competitions again. Okay, do we... Do we just... Talk to her about the quest. Nice work, Misty. <laughs> I didn't even do any training. I can already see Obsidian's improvement. I'm sure Madeline will be very happy to hear about your progress. Oh, and before I forget, here are a few apples for you. Oh, thank you. Well, for Obsidian. I'm sure you've noticed that your horse's energy goes down during training. If you want to bring their energy back up, you can always offer them a snack. Keep in mind you can only offer your horse a snack per day. Oh, once per day, so choose your moment wisely. Go home and rest now, you both deserve it. Okay, well, we haven't done any training, so I guess we're gonna go out and do some training. It's only nine in the morning, so we still have um, plenty of hours in the day. Let's mount up. And let's go into the arena, and we'll do some jump training with our new flower fence. There we go, oh, they're so pretty. I think we'll work on some um, speed training at the same time and flexibility. So we can kind of work on three of these. We won't work on any galloping at the moment. Oops. Um, we can just work on these three. I kind of want 
Obsidian to be an all-rounder because honestly, like, based on the demo, all four of the uh, skills are really important. So, definitely want to get him good in all of the skills. Maybe we'll do a little bit of a gallop. Oh, can we jump at a gallop? Oh, it's a bit more difficult to jump at the gallop. I have to get the timing really well. Also, I noticed that um, it's if you stop galloping before the meter runs out, it actually the gallop bar actually goes up much faster versus if you let it completely run out. It kind of has a pause before it starts going back up again. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's see how is his skills doing. Potential's down to 39. Jump is 19. Flexibility is 13. Endurance is 15. Speed is 17. Okay, so jump is currently our most dominant um, skill. I kind of want to evenly train with all of them, I think. Yeah, see what I mean with the, um, the meter going down? Um, and then if you stop galloping, it goes up, starts going up much faster if you stop before the meter runs out. Whoops. Was it his speed or his jump that's currently dominant? I think it was jump. So we'll get a lot of speed too, because I think speed and jump are probably the most important things that are going to be the most important in competitions. Like flexibility and endurance are going to be important too, but I think speed and jump are probably going to be the most important. Oh, and we are running low on energy. I guess jumping and running around. Um, takes a lot out of him. Oh, and you know, I, oh yeah, because didn't she say that, um, the galloping also, the, the endurance affects how quickly they run out of energy. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I wanted to give him an apple so we can keep training. Speed 18, endurance 16, jump 21, flexibility 13. Let's give him an apple. There you go. Now he has even more energy. And let's keep training. I quite enjoy the competitions. I think they're really fun. Oops. <laughs> I forgot to jump. Okay. I don't want to train him too much today though. So, you know what? Maybe we'll do some endurance training as we head back. Oh, the apple didn't fill him up as much as I was hoping it would. Ooh. And we can forage for some things. And I want to go meet the horses behind the auction house. Can we go into the auction house through that ramp? I don't have enough money. Um, oh, look at the pretty ponies. Can we, like, take... <laughs> can we ride in here? <laughs> look, we're auctioning off Misty and Obsidian. Who will be? <laughs> I didn't know we could do that. That's really cool though. So like the horses that are being sold are out in this paddock and then they come through the auction house through that ramp. Oh, and it looks like they change. Because I know that the horses at the auction change from day to day. So I guess the horses out here in the paddock change from day to day too. Look, there's a pretty... Oh, look at this horse. Look at the pretty color. Oh my gosh. Stop moving, please. It's like a snowflake buckskin. Oh my gosh, you are gorgeous. And look at this one. It's a blanket spotted bay. Oh my gosh, I want you. I want both of these horses. They're so beautiful. Wow. You guys are stunning. I think last time there was like three or four horses. There's only two today. But oh my gosh, look at these colors. Oh my gosh, I need, I need... I mean, Obsidian's beautiful, but I can't wait to get some more colors like that. Can we get, like, a nice picture with you guys? Oops. Like, oops. 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 No. What are we doing? Oh, dear. I'm sorry, horse. <laughs> that isn't what I was trying to do. No, I want to get a picture with you, please. Oh, maybe this horse doesn't like us. Ugh. I just want a cute picture with you, please. No! 
Hopefully we got a good picture. I don't know. This horse won't stop moving. There we go. Oh, look, and the other one's coming over too. Oh, okay. We'll leave you alone. I think this horse is mad at me now. <laughs> All right. Come on, Obsidian. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah, we were meant to be doing some endurance training with what little energy you have left. <laughs> I think we, what we picked up was orchard grass. Oh, let's do a little bit more foraging around the town. Let's actually go back up there. Foraging around the town as we work on um, getting the tiniest, oh, hi chicken. Getting the tiniest amount of endurance training in. Where? Um, oh, here we go. Another apple. You know, we may not even need apple seeds because we just keep finding them everywhere. Is there anything over this way? I wish we could take stuff from these people's gardens. But I guess that wouldn't be very nice. We wouldn't get a very good reputation in the town if we were just known for stealing from people. Oops. There we go. Nothing here. Hi, chicken. Oh, I see some straw up there. Anything else? Oh, I think it's just the straw. But that is handy. Why buy bedding when you can just find it lying around the place? <laughs> oh, hi, chicken. Sorry, I'm not trying to chase you, I promise. Okay, any more harvestables lying around? Even though we're not out on the trail, this still kind of feels like a trail ride. Just trails around the town. <laughs> Oops, let's not crash into a fence. Um, okay, I don't see any harvestables that way. Nothing down by the sheep. Seems like slim pickings today. I was expecting more. Oh, I'm sorry. None over there by Jay's place because we already went there. Huh. Or are there any back here behind the general store? Sometimes there are. I love how there's just little trails everywhere. It's cute. No. Not much in town today. Well, let's sell what we can. to try and get me some more money. Hey, George. Oh, River's here. Oops. <laughs> okay. Let's sell, oops, no, sell the orchard grass. And you know what, I'm gonna sell the oats too because I really don't use them. And we'll keep the carrots, we'll keep the manure. We have a lot of apples, I'm really happy about that. Because the apples are actually better than the carrots in terms of giving energy. Which I guess makes sense because cap- uh, <laughs> Apples, um, do have more, um... Oh, that's why it's got the stables there, because it's a vet clinic. Duh. That makes sense. Um, excuse me, can you not stand on the flowers, please? That's very rude. <sighs> Some people- Oh, hi, baby chicken, where's your mum? Alright, I guess we better head back. Oh, there's some sheepy saying hi. I think this is the way home. We'll head on home. Oh, maybe there's some harvestals, uh, harvest, harvestables <laughs> around the ranch. I'll keep an eye out as I go over to the little farm area. I know sheepies. It'd be so cute if we could get some sheep on our ranch. Oh, and then we could herd them using our horses. That'd be cute. Okay, any harvestables up here? No. We'll keep a good eye out though. Sometimes there are. Oh, I see some in that paddock. Can't take obsidian in there, but I can certainly go in there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I see a few. Okay, I'm going to just plop you in the paddock for now, obsidian. There you go. You can hang out. And are there any in this main paddock? I don't think so. Oh, he's enjoying being in the paddock. Um, is there any in this paddock? I don't see any, but there are definitely some over here. We can't get into the fertility paddock. 
but I see some stuff to collect here. Is this the orchard grass? Yeah, it is. I'm gradually learning what everything looks like. Oh, look at the pretty river. Everything's just so pretty. All right. Oh, look at these shelters. I can't wait to have these repaired. All right. I think those were the only two. No apples under the trees or anything. Okay. I don't want to leave. Oh, Obsidian, come back here. Will he come to me if I whistle? No, he doesn't trust me enough yet. He's running away, Obsidian, come back. He's like, no, don't ride me anymore. Oh, oh dear, Obsidian, um, how about we don't... Can you get out of the fence, please? Thank you. <laughs> All right. Your horse can't follow you here. Follow me where? But there's something here. Oh, and he's completely run out of energy, so we can't train or gallop anymore today. That's okay, though. It means that we can canter without me worrying about using up a bunch of... Oh, I see harvestables. Um, <laughs> as I was saying, it means I can canter without worrying about using up a bunch of his potential on speed training, which is nice. Anything behind the house? No. All right. Grab this. Oh, and I see more treats. Man, we're just rolling in treats at this point. I should probably sell some since we have so many. Like the carrots. I have I have too many carrots. I do not need this many carrots. I don't think anyone needs this many carrots. Anything up here? No. Okay. Let's head over to my little um, area where my crops are. And plant some carrot seeds. What did I plant here again? I think it was orchard grass. Orchard grass will be ready in two days. Can I fertilize it with manure? Oh no, I was really hoping I could use manure to fertilize. Okay, well I guess I can sell the manure then. I don't know why um, George would want manure, but we can um, fertilize. Here we go. It takes four days to grow and it grows all year round. Perfect. There we go. We have some carrots set to grow. All right. And it's getting late. Is there any more harvestables that we can see? Don't think so. I'm keen, I'm so keen to be able to unlock the trails and ride around on the trails and um, find different harvestables. That's honestly one of my favorite things to do is just riding around on the trails and harvesting stuff. Um, I just find it really enjoyable. Okay, let's get you settled for the night obsidian. Um, We'll give you a good brush with our new soft brush. Does it look different to the old brush? It does, it's like more curved. Here we go. I don't care that it takes a little bit longer to clean him. It means he'll enjoy his grooming time more and it will improve our trust. There we go, 6% trust. 32% potential, 15 in flexibility, 20 in jump, 17 in endurance, and 18 in speed. I think we're going pretty well. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you in the stable. You be good, Obsidian. Oh, he's so gorgeous. You have a good sleep. Oh, that is not the way out. I keep messing up with that. Thinking, you know, let's stick to the path. Let's not walk on the grass. Although part of me looks at all this grassland and things like... Oh, I could just let the horses roam around out here and they could just graze. Like, why do I have them in a pasture? They could just, they could just be roaming out here, like in my backyard. <laughs> just horses everywhere. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.